It's easy to forget about the aesthetics of your Minecraft world, and once you take a step back and look, it doesn't look so great. So, in this video, I'll cover 12 different ways you can instantly upgrade and improve your Minecraft world, with things like beautifying your mob farms, to smaller things like adding simple details. Let's get started. Alright, so the first way to easily improve your Minecraft world is of course starting off at your base design. And I'm not saying everyone's base might look, you know, maybe this simple, to put it nicely, but up here we actually went ahead and improved this base design here into something like this. Now there is quite a lot of detail added here, you don't have to go this overboard. What you could go ahead and do is just change the block palette up a little bit, instead of using cobblestone and just planks, we've instead gone with planks, stripped oak logs, and then down below, instead of cobblestone, I like using stone bricks and stone, I feel like it just looks a little bit cleaner, it's a little bit less harsh on the eyes. Sorry, I keep zooming in like that, it's uh, probably kind of annoying. We've also just changed the shape up a little bit by adding in this extra little like tower bit of the base, making it three stories. We added a nice little balcony here that connects onto this roof. Um, yeah, don't worry about the back of the build. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you can kind of see that over on the sides here. We added in this design that I usually like to add to my bases. We also added some leaves around the place and yeah, just a couple of ways that you could easily improve a simple looking base design like that into something nice. Next up, I'm going to quickly touch on pathways. So over here, we have a little bit of a village design and as you can see, there are no pathways connecting these buildings up. Now I'm just using this for kind of a reference point. You might not have a village like this, but maybe just say like over here, you have your base. Maybe you've got like a little watchtower over here, maybe like a mob farm, a chicken farm, I don't know, you know? And an easy way to make them look more cohesive in, in like a nice village kind of style is simply by adding in a pathway, kind of like that. Now you may not exactly live in the desert, but a nice dirt path and adding in maybe even some coarse dirt into that as well is a nice and easy way to make your area look a little bit more like a village, even though it might not be, you know, I mean, this one is a village, but yeah, like I said before, you might not have a village, but yeah, it helps it just make it look more like cohesive and all like a part of the same kind of thing. You know what I'm trying to say? Next up, I'm going to talk about beautifying your farms. Now this does fall under crop farms and mob farms like this one here. And you know, sometimes you can just do it quick and dirty, you know, just make a quick little mob spawner. But if you really want to improve the look of your world and the overall aesthetic, I definitely recommend creating something similar to this. It doesn't have to be exactly like this, but just adding in some nice little aesthetic details around the place can really help improve your mob spawner and just your world overall, you know? And then for the crop farms, you really don't have to go that overboard. Most of the time, crop farms look really good on their own, but just adding in simple things like a nice fencing around it, you know, maybe not exactly this because mobs can easily get in, but you know, maybe if you made this a little bit higher, it could definitely work. You know, just something other than, you know, the basic fence design like this can really go a long way. And another handy dandy tip to get your crops looking nice is to just add it onto like the natural landscape. Just add it into a slope like this, instead of purposely making it as flat as possible, just building it to conform to the landscape is a really nice and easy way to get your farms looking great. The next way you can improve your Minecraft world is by upgrading a village. Maybe if you live near a village or you even started in one, why not just go ahead and, you know, upgrade all of the house designs, add in a bunch more houses, and just give it some general upgrades. It's definitely a nice and easy way to improve your Minecraft world. Well, you know, maybe it's not the most easy way, but uh, depending on, you know, the scale of your village that you're trying to do. Next up, instead of just making a hole in the ground like this for your mine entrance, why not upgrade it into something nice? Depending on the style that you're going for, it can be super simple to do. Something like this might take a little bit more time, but it's definitely worth it. There's many different styles of mine entrances you can do, like this one, which is more situated on the ground instead of having a staircase coming up to it. We've got a nice big chimney over here that would lead down to like a smelting room. And even just adding in some nice details on the exterior of your mine, like some log piles, ore piles, and barrel piles, and stuff like that, can just make it feel a little bit more lived in and a little bit more, you know, nice, I guess. Instead of building a just, you know, a bog standard nether portal, why not give it a theme and make it look extra nice? Like this one over here, we've given like a stargate or futuristic kind of theme. We've added in a nice little staircase that leads up to it as well. And it gives it the illusion that it's kind of circular as well. Over here, we've got one inside of like a tree stump. This one's in kind of like a shrine style or something like that. And then this one's just in like a wooden kind of medieval castle gate theme, I guess. You know, there's many different ways you can make nether portals instead of just sticking with the bog standard kind of rectangular design. Why not, you know, just make it look extra cool. Next up, I'm just going to quickly touch on base interiors. Now, personally for interiors, I usually do something like this and just leave it completely open, but sometimes it can be nice to try a more realistic kind of interior where you have separated rooms like this. For example, right here, we have our bedroom. We've got some nice shelves around here as well. And then off to the right, we have another room and this one's our enchanting and crafting slash storage room. And you know, maybe if you do build rooms all the time, why not switch it up and build something like kind of open like this and just try something different. Or like this base that has a tutorial video on my channel, be sure to check that out. You could kind of do like a hybrid of the 
Dishonored 2, where you have these kind of separations that do separate the areas of the base, but then lead into these like kind of open areas like these. You know, just play around with your interior designs. Don't leave it, you know, just boring and, and just standard. Add in some nice details, like some shelves and stuff everywhere, and just add like nice tabletop decorations like this stuff everywhere. Don't just leave your interiors plain and boring. Spruce them up and make them look extra nice. Adding a river or a pond to your area is a really nice and easy way to add just a bit of nature to your world. If you added your pathway to your base, why not branch off the pathway and lead it over to a nice little pond like this one? It's a nice way to break up all of the different buildings that you might have and just have like a nice little bit of serenity here with a pond or a river or anything like that. Next, if you have an area kind of like this in your area or, you know, you have a nearby cliff or something, why not just terraform it and make it look a little bit nicer? So before this area here just kind of looked like this. It was just a bit of a slope with like, you know, pretty much all grass. And what we did was just come in and remove this layer like so and just make it a harsh kind of drop off. And then we added in all of this stone and stone brick here to make it into a bit of a cliff side. We also added in these nice little overhangs as well, some of them being supported with some slabs and stuff. And also I highly recommend adding slabs and stairs to your cliffs like this to make them look a little bit more smooth. Another way to improve your world is to try a different style. If you're like me and constantly build in the medieval theme, maybe it's time to switch it up. I mean, I should probably listen to my own advice here. And vice versa, if you usually build in a different theme, why not try like, you know, something medieval or something completely different? It's a nice idea to try out different styles every once in a while to improve your skills and build up your repertoire of different styles that you can build in and, you know, just feel more confident trying different things. Like, you know, usually I hate building modern houses, but I feel like this build turned out pretty well. I actually really love this. The download's over on my Patreon, by the way. You should check it out. Why not build a barn for your animals instead of just having them in a pen out in the open? Give them a nice little home to live in. I know this isn't exactly an animal barn. This is more of a horse stable, but you know, it's the same kind of idea. Just create a nice little build to house your horses or your pigs or cows or whatever you got. Maybe all of the above. It's also a nice place to easily store in stuff that you need for them, like wheat to breed them. Maybe even, you know, once you've uh, slaughtered them, you can store their meat and stuff here, or you can even add in smokers as well along the roof and easily just cook up all the meat in the one place. If you constantly find yourself crossing a gap that maybe has water or maybe it's like a bit of a cliff or something, why not try adding a bridge to that area? Once again, it's a super easy way to make your world feel a little bit more lived in. And instead of having to jump into the water every time, you know, you got a nice little thing to cross over. You know, instead of being completely useless, like some of the things on this list, this one actually does have a pretty good use. And why not just make it look nice and aesthetic while you're at it? Now, probably the easiest way to easily improve your Minecraft world. Yes, I apologize. We're back at this build here. Is to simply add in some nice little small decorations everywhere like this. For instance, we've got a barrel and chest pile here. We've added in some nice little details onto that. Over on this side over here, we have a bit of a log pile. Over here, we've got these nice little like raised garden things with a lantern. We've also got these market stalls as well and bushes as well are another nice thing. Lamp post designs, little fences just kind of scattered around the place to line the pathway a little bit. Adding in all of these things alongside your pathway is a really nice and easy way to make it feel more lived in once again and just adds a little bit of extra aesthetic to your area. All right, so yeah, I hope this helped improve your Minecraft world. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.